What's going on guys, Vex here, and today I've got a nice little video for you of some Black Ops 1 gameplay. And I haven't played this game all that much, but uh, playing it recently today has made me think of a topic I was discussing with somebody the other day, and that is, what is the most balanced Call of Duty in all of history? Now, uh, I really wouldn't count maybe the first three Call of Duties, because I never really played them, but out of the ones that I've played, pretty much everything after that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've played everything after, I think, Call of Duty 3. So we're not going to count the first three. But after that, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Ghosts, uh, Advanced Warfare, all those. And I just want to know your opinion. If you want to leave me a comment below, what do you think is the most balanced Call of Duty of all time? And personally, uh, I'm not sure because all of them have their gripes and... Uh, serious issues and obviously some more than others but uh, I'd probably have to say Call of Duty 4 and uh, thinking about it I think that's probably the easiest choice. Uh, Black Ops 1 I think is pretty close. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's as many BS uh, things to die to in comparison but there is some really unbalanced things in it as well. Uh, the Galil suppressed is pretty annoying. Um, then you've got the ghost perk which is extremely annoying because uh, you could just stand still and not move all game and it hides your position from UAV. So I really don't like that. But um, there's not too many bad things I can think of in Black Ops 1. But at the same time, I haven't played Black Ops 1 that much. Um, I literally just hit like 15 hours of playtime uh, in my last session. So obviously you can tell I haven't played that much. Uh, but I've seen a lot of content from it. And I really feel like Call of Duty 4 is probably the most balanced, or maybe not balanced, but the least amount of BS to die to. Uh, in Call of Duty 4, you had Frag Times 3, which is incredibly annoying. You did have Last Stand. Uh, you did have the M16 one bursting you from a mile away. But um, I still don't feel like it was, you know, that bad. Like, I don't really get as, as upset, excuse me at my deaths in Call of Duty 4 compared to like a lot of other games. Like in Black Ops 3, it's just frustrating. Uh, that's obviously one of the most least balanced Call of Duties of ever that's ever come out, I think, uh, by far. And Modern Warfare 2 is probably the most, uh, considering that everything is just incredibly overpowered. But um, Black Ops 3, it's just so annoying. Like The gravity spikes are the most annoying thing to die to. And... That's just one of them. You've got a million other things like uh, I'll get killed by the combat knife or the ripper when I'm like double jumped above somebody's head and there's no way they could possibly hit me, but I'll still die to it anyways. And uh, you've got a bunch of broken stuff. Like they just recently nerfed the Brecky, the PO6, and the Dracon, and they're still absurdly overpowered. So really, uh, that game is definitely not balanced. Uh, Black Ops 2, you have the target finder, you've got MMS, which is incredibly annoying and super overpowered. Uh, you've got a lot of other stuff that's just super annoying. you got the Scar H that's just all powerful, um, and a bunch of other stuff like that that it's kind of annoying to deal with and uh, leads to a lot of really annoying deaths. But uh, personally, I still feel like Call of Duty 4 is either the most or one of the most balanced because it's very hard to uh, pick apart which Call of Duty is very balanced or balanced because none of them are really balanced at all. And I realize I just said balance about 20 times in one sentence, but uh, <laughs> that is the topic of the video. So um, I really like Call of Duty 4 and I'm going to actually upload some gameplay of it um, in the near future because it's just so much fun. And uh, even though we got the uh, Black Ops 3 DLC coming out today, I'm still <laughs> having so much fun in these older Call of Duties because playing Black Ops 3 and uh, some other ones just really annoying. Uh, Black Ops 2 has been a lot of fun, but uh, in NA, it's really hard to find lobbies, so only at certain times of the day I'm able to find a lobby. But uh, definitely, I love Call of Duty 4. Uh, a lot of the other classic Call of Duties I like. I even played some Modern Warfare 2, but uh, I got a little bit upset because I had a few games where I was like 23-0, and 0, or uh, I think the other one was 22-0, and 0, and I died to some ridiculous thing like the uh, noob tube killing me. And I'm only like a few kills off uh, Tactical Nuke, so that's pretty annoying. Uh, but definitely like playing Call of Duty 4 and uh, Black Ops 1. I haven't played that much, as I said before, but uh, so far it seems pretty fun. 
So I probably might be playing that a little bit more. Um, I did play on high ping today, like 150 ping, but the connections don't seem as bad uh, compared to like Black Ops 2 high ping and Black Ops 3 and all that stuff. So uh, I might be playing some more Black Ops 1. And I love the streaks on it too. Uh, running the uh, Blackbird, which is pretty much the VSAT, uh, the Dogs, and the Chopper Gunner. Those are all a lot of fun. So uh, definitely can expect some more gameplay from that in the future. So uh, this video is coming to an end, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think is the most balanced Call of Duty and what is the most unbalanced Call of Duty. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I will have some more videos up today, so stay tuned for that.